I have to say this is such a wonderful moment to be standing here on the stage in Ottawa. And it's really hard to believe it was just a short three months ago that I was standing in a room very similar to this one at the National Speakers Association Conference in Auckland, New Zealand, after having just introduced our opening keynote speaker to the stage. And you know him, he's Steve Lowell. He's standing here at the rear of the room. Now, I didn't know Steve or Jane before that conference, but I sat at the back of that room and I watched Steve begin his presentation and start to take the audience on a journey. And as he did so, it struck me that that is what I needed to be doing. I need to be there on that stage doing that. Now, in light of the uh, introduction that you've just heard, that might sound a little bit strange because I live on the stage. This is my happy space. In my career, as a professional MC, I have hosted well over a thousand of events uh, in a wonderful career. And I have touched in some way more than half a million people across 13 countries. And I love what I do. I've also been fortunate enough to win awards for my MC work. But I'm also an actor in theater and film and television. I'm a television presenter. I'm a voice artist. Uh, I'm a multi-instrumentalist musician. I'm a classically trained vocal artist, as well as an improvisational comedic entertainer. And again, I've been fortunate to win awards for these things too. But the reality is, none of that matters. It's already gone, it's in the past, it's already done. What really matters is this, the here and now, this moment, it's shared moment that we're experiencing here together in this space, never to be repeated. I can guarantee we will never, ever have the same moment ever again in the same way in the same space. I mean, this is your present. And what you choose to do with that here today could very well be the defining factor in your future growth and success. So I'm sitting at the back of the room Steve's presenting, and then he does something. He calls for a volunteer to join him on stage, and it is like he's speaking directly to me. This is my moment. This is my opportunity, and I can feel my heart racing. But at the same time, I feel the stab of fear right here. Now, I'm, I'm sure, like, Everybody in this room, I get stage nerves, but I accept it, I welcome it, it's part and parcel of what I do. It's that frisson of excitement, it makes you feel alive and you, you know it's just part of the stage. But this was different. This was deep, this was primeval. This was the fear of a paradigm shift, of going from a comfort zone to a learning zone. And in this moment of fear, I hesitated. And in my hesitation, another audience member stood and took my position on stage. <laughs> and now I'm seething. And I hope, I mean, I just hope that Steve's gonna give me another opportunity. But I'm sure as we all know, hope is not a strategy. <laughs> so instead, I set an intention. If Steve asks for another volunteer, I will raise my hand. I will stand from my chair. And I will go to the stage. You now, in these moments that matter, these defining moments, it's not simply the recognition of them that's important. It's what we do with them that matters. And you will recognize that it's a defining moment because you will feel a fundamental change, a fundamental shift will happen. And you'll be urged or even compelled to make a pivotal decision and then act upon that decision. It's not the years of toil. It's not the days and weeks and months of studying and learning and training. It's the moments in our lives that define us. And in doing so, they transform us. They transform our actions. They transform our behaviors. 
and they transform the way that we view the world. Now, I know this because I am insanely curious about human behavior. I love the way we can think about behavior and how we can modify it to increase our growth and success. And I want you to be as insanely curious about human behavior as I am about the humans around you. And the way we do that is by being insanely curious about ourselves. So I'd like you to do something for me. I'm not going to ask you to reveal this, but I want you to think of a moment where you found yourself in a defining moment, something fundamental was changing for you, and you found yourself, like I was, hesitating, freezing in that moment. Because I realized something. In that moment in Auckland, when I froze, what I was really doing was making a choice. I was choosing to remain exactly where I was. I was choosing to settle for the status quo, actively refusing this opportunity for growth. Because that's what we do in these moments that matter. And in doing so, we stop ourselves from being willing to fail. We stop ourselves from being willing to take risks. And ultimately, we stop ourselves from being willing to change. What's ironic about this is that I've spent my entire life studying and training in human behavior, and yet when this moment happened for me, I allowed it to bypass me. Because there is a way to be able to be open to those moments when they happen. And that process starts with getting out of our heads by being absolutely present, 100% present in the moment, listening with every single fiber of our being, listening at 100 million miles an hour. We're listening for the sound of every moment, for the beat of the world around us, for that unsung song, the ebb and flow of connection and communication that's happening right in front of us. You're wondering what I'm going to say next. In the 17 seconds that, by, that went by from my last statement to that statement there, you could have done anything. You could have stood and walked out of the room. You could have started a conversation with the person at your table. You could have started thinking about the grocery list of items that you're going to purchase on the way home. But you did none of those things because you were here. Your concentration and focus and attention was right here on me on stage. I didn't say a word, but you were watching the behavior and the way that I moved and, and, and stood in this space. And that is the level of attention that you need to have to be open to these moments that matter. And in this state, alive, awake, and aware, you are absolutely able to react swiftly, accurately, and decisively to those moments that matter. But even more than that, you're able to create the fertile environment to create moments for yourself and people around you. I'd like to issue you a challenge. When you leave here today and you head off home and you go in your door and you see your spouse or your partner or your significant other, I would like you to give them the same level of attention that you had in those 17 seconds here in this room. Not just for 17 seconds, but for as long as they need. Or what about the next time you interact with your children? Or with your employees or your staff or partners? What about with the work that you do in your communities? Or with those people that we know and love so well, our customers and our clients? So let me take you back to Auckland. I'm there at the back of the room, and Steve asks for another volunteer. My hand is in the air, I'm out of my seat. Steve cannot help but see me because I, my intention is just so strong. And he invites me forward, and as I arrive on stage, I realize that this is my moment. And like any defining moment, there is no point in holding back, and so I release the Greg within. I release the Greg who doesn't listen to the naysayer. I release the Greg who lives in the moment. I release the Greg who has something to say. And I speak. 
And Steve guides me and during the process I have a revelation. And just as I leave the stage, I share that with the room. With a successful career as a professional MC, I've spent the last 25 years using the lectern as a shield. But from this moment, it's the start of a new beginning. Now, three months ago, on a stage in New Zealand, I had an epiphany. When I was training as an actor, my acting teacher would often say that to tell the truth from the stage is one of the most powerful things we can do as a human being. And whether it's shocking and ugly, whether it is achingly beautiful, if it is the truth, well told, all you will ever receive is applause. So three months ago, I began the process of living my principles, of sharing my philosophies and speaking my truth about moments that matter because that moment mattered to me. And that moment prepared me to stand here on this stage so I can make this moment matter to you. Make every moment count. Thank you. Thank you.